Prince of the Berry here, and we're back at the Dolphin Hotel. Not the Swan, the Dolphin. It's been about two years since we've been to Todd English Blue Zoo, so we're gonna check it out, see what's up. Let's see if they can blue us away. Be sure to enjoy the zoo. You heard the girl. Definitely need lots of EC and water. Hydrate yourself. It's hot out there. Cheers. Cheers. Really excited for this burnt orange margarita. And you have this like beautiful caramelized orange that's just gonna get like pieces of it in this marg. I'm gonna dip it once I take a sip. Mm, wow. It's very nice. It's almost like a Texas margarita, but not. I'm into it. it, it I know we got this last time we came here, but I don't remember it being this amazing. I'm gonna give this a four out of five margaritas. This is, Texas would be excited about this one. I will say one thing about Top Blues is their drink craft is amazing. Show with every drink so far, especially cocktails. Mm, there's everything, the sights, the smell of like the drinks being like created. Amazing. Oh, it tastes as good as it looks. It's like orange candy. There's like sugar on the orange. Is it like burnt? And then it's sort of like melted down in the drink. You get the perfect balance of like margarita the orange. I like it. Four out of five plus. Millions of peaches, peaches for me, is just giving me Super Mario Brothers movies vibe. We haven't bought that movie yet. We probably need to do that. I need to do that, because we love that movie. And the princess sings the peaches song three, four times a week? More? No. More. Peaches, 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 peaches. Ah! This is why we do YouTube and don't sing. Ooh. It's like drinking peach candy. Like melted peach candy mixed with alcohol. Now the alcohol in here, the vodka, it's not vegan, so none for the princess. More for the bear, that. <laughs> that makes smoked turkey look like a Bud Light line. It's a five out of five claw, it's just a bare necessity. You come here, you don't get this, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with me because maybe my taste buds are off. Either way, it's good. vegan safe bread is nice and hot. They do offer an oil or balsamic to go with the bread so you don't have to have it by itself, but I like bread by itself. Especially when it's hot, I just like to enjoy the bread. So, ooh, cheers. Very tasty, it tastes fresh baked, it gives good bread. It's a nice like little appetizer to start when you go with all of your other items. I can put this with my salad that I ordered. I like it, I'm gonna give it a three out of five breads. It's not a bread I would brag to friends about, but it's a bread I'll eat, so it's a thing. First, because I'm an evil bear, I'm gonna steal some of this princess's nice, warm sourdough. It looks too fresh, just wanted to say no to, so I can't help it. Plus, I'm gonna dip it into this completely 100% non-vegan butter. Just a little bit, so I wanna live. It's a nice, like, salted butter. I've got a hint of citrus to it, I can't really place it. But very tasty. The bread's nice and fresh. Toast is made in the house, not something they just made mass and put here. It's good bread. Give that three and a half out of five claws. I mean, it's always funny to see, like, breads across different cultures, like, mix and remix. This is sort of like a Persian lavash, but it's like Parmesan and sesame seeds. Look at that, we got a thin wafer bread almost. Mmm. The red cracker. I love it. Four and a half out of five loaves. So this is the beautiful salad appetizer offering. It has been modified. I love that like they didn't really change the plating. The server told me that like these little spots here are actually for where they put the cheese. 
That's all you need to do is just modify it without cheese, and here you go. You have a vegan salad with corn on it, which is why I got it. The corn was intriguing to me. So I'm just gonna toss it a little bit. You gotta toss your own salad, right? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Some of this. I've made a mess on my plate. Cheers. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm committing to this mistake. The dressing is really interesting. It's very lightly dressed. It's not overpowering, but it's giving you like this. I don't even know how to describe it. Almost like um, it opens your nose a little bit, like a like a horseradish style mustard, <laughs> but not spicy. I like it. It's interesting. I'm gonna give it two and a half out of five to salad tossings. I don't think I would probably come back for this, but it's good for a first taste. I know Bear's gonna enjoy it because he likes salad. If it's one thing I like as a bear, it's salad. I love rabbit food in all its forms. Leafy greens would mix everything in, be it corn or pecans or strawberries or different sort of like walnuts. Anyway, you can serve me salad. Give me on board. As long as you keep okra, lemon beans, and beans out of it, we're good. So, but roasted corn, this color and everything else in here, I'm all for it. And then this is like, this is just a tripe. A bit of mushroom or whatever. I feel like I could have cut the leaves down a little bit more. I still feel like I'm digging in somebody's bush right now. It's very tangy dressing. The corn gets that nice, like smoky, but still like the corn sweetness to it. And the tang of the dressing with the leaves, it's good. I wish there's a little bit more to it, but the flavor is amazing. It's three and a half out of five plus. So here we have barbecue pork shoulder pot stickers. So it's with, served with a barbecue mustard and there's got like a sprinkle of like barbecue seasoning on top as well. You see like a little color on it and I turn one of these around here. Beautiful, beautiful, nice, like crispy pot sticker bottom. I almost wish I had chopsticks instead of a fork. It seems almost blasphemous, but we use what is given. So pretty. That is a very interesting juxtaposition. If you've had a lot of pasta in your life, it's usually like a distinctly like, like Eastern flavor to it. But this is like that nice barbecued like pork shoulder is just filled to the brim with nothing but pork. That's all I taste, like nothing but it's nice and juicy and moist. And a little sprinkle of the barbecue dust with like a crispy bottom. Gives it like that soft texture, but a nice crunch when you bite through. And the mustard barbecue sauce, I'm in heaven. I love a good like mustard-based barbecue on like anything. These are top tier spots, pot stickers. I give that four to five plus. So we have this beautifully seasoned butternut squash mixed with mushrooms and this 100% presentation, coloration, everything. Reminds me of a dish that I got when Monsieur Paul opened, the prefix meal. They did something like this with mushrooms and carrots, and it's, it was tasty. It wasn't my favorite thing that I had there. That butternut squash soup that I had there was the best. So let's see how this compares, because it is butternut squash, so. Cheers. I'm not typically a huge butternut squash person, but the seasonings on this makes it like perfect. It's not sweet at all. It's just like a nice savory. I feel like a little bit of heat, kind of in the front of the mouth, like the nose at level, not in the back. I would say it's about a three out of 10 on the heat scale. It's not spicy at all, but still tasty. We have some beautiful pomegranate seeds in here. I'm gonna say this is three and a half out of five butter squashes. This is a very inventive and creative dish that is new for vegans. The tempura dish that I got last time I was here was not available, is not available as tempura, but it is available as like a grilled option. So if you don't want this, check out that other video and you can see the other option available for vegans here for entrees. It's a 
roasted squash with mushrooms and other things. I was a bit skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when you get something like that, it's either gonna be beautiful and tasty, or it's gonna be ugly and maybe tasty. Either way, it was a gamble. But it's looking like a gamble good. It's plated beautifully, you got nice colors to it. You got the definitely the roasted squash, all the fixings in here, the sauce. I'm excited. It's a very interesting like texture, not in a bad way, but full of flavor. Like each piece, well seasoned. It's not like they just roasted vegetables and threw the sauce on top and forgot about it. Like each vegetable, like well seasoned and then sauce on top of it. This is better than it really has any right to be. And there's only a minor modification to get it this way. Looks actually quite tasty. It's a fine balance between like savory with a little bit of sweet. I give it. Four to five plus. Here we have the ahi tuna, seared ahi tuna. Now, usually when you get ahi tuna, it's like thin slice, like spread. These are like huge chunks of ahi tuna. Like I was not expecting anything that big. And then you have like this like crispy rice paper on top and like crispy like rice balls with some daikon and everything else in here. And like this green wasabi sauce in the bottom. Also the wasabi sheet. Now it also comes with a sauce. But let's go ahead and uh, try this just as it is. Let me use this ahi tuna first. Just... Very well cooked. Let's go ahead and try everything all in now. A bigger piece of this. I want some of this rice ball here. I want some of the rice paper. I want some of the daikon. I want it all. All in a bite. Almost like a rice potato chip. Everything all loaded up here on this fork. One of these days I will balance everything on the fork the first time I put it on there. Today is probably not that day. Oh, oh. I like how they managed to retain the flavor of the wasabi in that sauce without it being like a you just burned all your nostrils clear of air. And let the tuna be tuna. The fixes with the daikon, the, the rice balls, everything else is like it's almost like a deconstructed ahi tuna, but like just served and prepared differently. A little creativeness in how it's, how it's presented, and I'm loving it. Uh, it's definitely like a lighter fare, and that's what I was going for since I already got the app. But I think if you love ahi tuna, you will love this. Four out of five plus. Return of the green beans. I'm torturing Bear with green beans. Whole tempura green beans since it's the only vegan that you can get tempura right now. This is a huge amount of green beans, way more than I expected for a side dish. Cheers. You know what? I think this is how you should Thanksgiving your green beans if you're going to serve them. Tempura green beans is the way. I definitely, I wish the aioli could have been made vegan because I think that would just make this pop. As it's on its own, I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five um, green beans. This is like green beans on a new level and if you're trying to get your kids to eat them, this is a good way to do it. Maybe Bear will even eat the whole thing. Who knows? If not, I will. So are these nice tempura green beans. Now, this ever got you wondering when you look at the sides of this menu, yes, the sides are shareable. <laughs> Very much shareable, because this is more than either one of us will be able to eat on our own, and more than I dare eat, seeing as uh, I am not normally a green bean person. But like your children, if you're gonna convince me to eat a green bean, this is probably the way to do it. Nice and tempura. I am convinced that I want to try this. Now we have this aioli here. It's got eggs in it, none of the princess. It's mayo. Mayo. I mean, they're gonna be a fry test, they fail, but the green beans, what are you gonna do? Ooh. Okay. Much to my dismay for the princess, the aioli is that extra bit of pot. 
that it's a side for dipping with these. It's probably the best green noon I've had in my life. That's a four and a half out of five claws. We haven't had all the sides here, but this is currently my favorite. It's the best green beans that you've had in your life, and it's still a four and a half out of five. It's still a green bean. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. Okay, fair. <laughs> This classic zooberry looks very different from the zooberry we got last time we were here. I'm into it though, it's smaller glass. But so consistently tasty, it's like a, a lemonade, but bitter. I will give it four out of five blue zoos. With the fantastical, the wonderful, the zooberry returned. Comes with some small drinks today. That's uh, that's tasty, but it's far too much citrus for me. I feel like I just licked a lemon rind. Come on, you got the lemon rind in there, but oh, that's like it's it's so sour. It made my eyes squint, not in a good way. Uh, there's a bit of bias built in there, but that, that's a two out of five claws for me. I could not drink that. Here we have the um, Old oh Brother of Bourbon and uh, a Vampire Spear, which is apparently is a cherry. You gave me a drink with utensils, and I'm not really sure what to do with it. Am I supposed to use the spoon to drink the alcohol, or I, I don't know. It didn't come with directions. Not that I'm great at following them anyway. So, how about we just dip this in here like that? I'm just gonna sip it. Ooh, it's like, it's bourbon with like chocolate bitters, and then you get like the juices of the cherry in there. It's like a chocolate covered cherry with bourbon. If you ever had like those bourbon filled chocolate bonbons, it's like that in drink form. 4.25 out of 5 claws. That is excellent. I still think the same thing I thought the first time we come here that. People sleep on Todd English Blue Zoo. It's probably one of the better restaurants here at the Balkan. I agree, especially for vegans. They, uh, well, I don't know. Rosa Mexicana is new and they kill it with their stuff. We need to come for breakfast. You do? But um, their dinner is pretty good too. I want you guys to tell me in the comments, how much do you think our dinner cost? Yes, make some guesses. Maybe if, uh, Maybe if somebody gets that rose or, or if you get within five dollars, I will wear ears in a video next month. How about that? Or maybe maybe we'll DM you and we'll send you something. That too. That sounds more like something somebody would do. But I don't know what you guys and given what you saw, would you eat at Tabuzu? Let us know in the comments below. If there's anywhere else here at the Dolphin Swan or otherwise if you'd like to see us go, by all means the comments always in place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and take your leftovers. Otherwise, why are you spending all this money on food if you don't eat the whole thing? It's not like you're gonna have a whole team of people all of the time. We're not, you know, big YouTubers that have people that can eat all of our foods. We actually eat all of the food that we buy. I feel like we need a crew now. Put your heart in the girl.